Hey y'all, what's good? What's popping? It's Alexis, aka Alexakira. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. Okay, so I just gotta ask y'all one question. Did y'all miss me? Like, did you miss me? Because I've been gone for at least like two weeks. I didn't want to make a video because I had this huge, ugly style on my eye. Y'all, like, when I tell y'all I was so stressed because, for one, my birthday is Thursday. And hopefully this video go up today. But my birthday is Thursday, August 20th. <laughs> so, I was so disappointed and I was so discouraged because I felt like my style wasn't going to go away. And the style was on my eye for two whole weeks. So, I had to go on a hiatus uh on instagram i couldn't post pictures y'all know like that just that just had me feeling some type of way but now the style is finally going down and it's not all the way down but it looked 10 times better than what it did a few days ago so now i can make y'all now i can make a video and i'm excited so <laughs> let me show y'all it was so big y'all like when i tell y'all my eye was sitting out like this <laughs> so yeah but i'm happy to be back i'm so happy to be back i'm so happy to be doing videos again so yeah back to the basics so okay i'm starting off with my makeup revolution face primer and i like to give it a good amount because i have really oily skin and this give it like a dry dry feel afterwards the only thing i don't like about this um primer is that it leaves kind of like a ashy cast after you finish applying so i don't like that but other than that it's a real good primer it was something i was using recently that broke my face out so bad like i honestly don't know what i was using i think maybe it was the um the elf sun kiss drops because ever since i've been using ever since i've been using the what is that ever since i've been using the elf sun kiss drops um my skin started breaking out and i had to go extra hard on my um on my skincare so all in all though i'm kind of happy i'm taking my um color pop pretty fresh this is my probably second or third time using this it's real good take two pumps but um it's probably a good thing that i wasn't able to wear um foundation for two weeks because like i said my face had broke out so bad so I'm happy that I actually gave my skin time to heal. Can y'all believe the uproar about this freaking WAP song? Like, can y'all believe how crazy these men are going because of this song like sir i want to know why you're so bothered like tell me why that wop song bother y'all so much because my thing is people always feel like you gotta be when you're a woman you know it's that double standard when you're a woman You have to carry yourself a certain way in order to be considered a woman or ladylike. And I think that's bullshit, honestly. Like, because, I mean, this not the, ooh, I added a lot more. This is not the freaking 1800s or whatever <laughs> where women had to be a certain type of way. She had to carry herself a certain type of way. You know, it's like, now that times have changed, we're able to... You know, be more outspoken. That's the thing. Men don't want a, a outspoken woman. Like, they, they say they do. 
they say they want a strong woman and this and that, but then you get a woman who is unapolog unapologetic and speak her mind and she's transparent about certain stuff that you shouldn't be ashamed of. Like I'm basically, I'm transparent about the things that I feel like people shouldn't be ashamed of. So when it comes to certain stuff, you know, that most of us go through as women or as human beings, I don't feel like certain stuff should be like kept a secret. Like why, why not talk about it? You know, but it's like nowadays, these men don't like an outspoken woman. They want they they're attracted to the women that that put themselves out there like that. But then they don't want day woman acting like that. Cause it, it's just weird to me. Like y'all logic, how it's working. Like they really sit around here talking about uh, these women need to be role models. They shouldn't be talking about stuff like that because it's little girls watching them. Okay, it's little boys watching y'all men too. I don't hear y'all talking about that. It's little boys out here listening to y'all music where y'all talking about shooting people up and robbing people and treat this hoe like this and do this be like this. And, and y'all be around here rapping to it. Happy. Don't miss a word. Don't skip not one word. But we, you never hear it's little boys out here listening. Like, no. One thing about it, it's not my place. And I'm just speaking in general. It's not my place to be a role model to your child. Because at the end of the day, if your child is underage, you should be monitoring what your child is watching in the first place. Like, you can't be mad at Cardi and Megan and all them for the type of music that they make and say that it's little kids watching. Little kids shouldn't be watching it in the first place. Like, I was watching, um, I had watched the Queens, I believe, interview with, um, what's her name? Has Lisa Ray, this is the Elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium beige. But um, I was watching the interview, well not the interview, but I watched the little podcast thing that um, the women do, Lisa Ray and the other women. And they basically said the same thing I'm saying, like, back in the day when it was uncut and stuff like that on BET, you had to be up at a certain time of night to see stuff like that. But now it's like they make it so easy for these kids to have access to stuff that they shouldn't have access to. Like, and I'm gonna be honest, like my mama, my mama them did everything they could to make sure we didn't see stuff and hear stuff that we weren't supposed to hear and see at a certain age. But I badass, me and my cousins, we actually stayed up until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning so we could watch Uncut. Although my mama and my aunties and all them, they made sure they did their part by making sure we didn't watch it around them. But by us being grown and fast, whatever you want to call it, we took matters into our own hands and we decided we're going to stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning and we're going to wait to Uncut come on so we can see all these videos and hear all these songs. Our parents didn't know. But that's not their fault because we decided to stay up all night and watch that stuff. They did their part as parents, but kids going to be kids. So it's like you cannot say they got to be role models to these little girls. That's not their job. Their job is making music. Their parents' job, mama, daddy, whoever it may be, that's their job to be a role model to them and to show them what you should and should not listen to. It ain't got nothing to do with these celebrities, so stop trying to make it they problem that y'all badass kids out here singing WAP. They ain't got no business singing WAP. They don't even know what WAP is. They should know what WAP is. They should know what DOP, DAP, whatever the hell you, they should know what none of it is. But they do. <laughs> so yeah, hold on, I gotta wet this. But yeah, they really trying to like make it these women problem that, you know, they not being a role model to kids. Like, that's not their job to be a role model to y'all kids. Like, I got kids. And I would never sit here and make it anybody else's responsibility to be a role model to my kids. Like, come on. What I teach them and what I keep away from them is my job. Nobody else's. And they daddy, of course. But that's just that. Like, simple as that. <laughs>
and I'm gonna put a little bit on my eye. I'm trying not to put much product on my eye because all even though the style went down a whole lot, I don't want to make the bitch my eye back up. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it light around the eyes. It's it dry down so fast. I don't even feel like I was talking that long and it's already like dry. So I don't I don't know if y'all can see that, but the, the concealer is just it's not enough coverage. Like it's just not enough coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in on top with my Fenty Beauty. And just do it again. Yeah, like that, that e.l.f. concealer just won't give me enough coverage. I don't like that. Okay, so this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer, but it's contour, basically. I really like the, um, I like the color of this. Like, it gives me, like, not too dark, you know, but I'm going to just tap it in first and then I'm going to go and blend it out with the Beauty Blender in case y'all was wondering because I know y'all like, girl, that is not blended. Girl, I know that. But yeah, like. I'm just happy to be wearing makeup again. Like, <laughs> y'all don't know how bad I want to just beat my face these past two weeks. Like, I was sitting here like, man, I need to make a video. And don't get me wrong, I could have made, like, other videos. Like, it's no excuse. I could have did, like, story times and stuff like that. But... You know, it was just like, I don't know. I really just didn't want to come on camera with my face like that. Like, the only thing I did recently was go have drinks with my sister. And it was just me and her. So it was like, you know, and that was the day that I realized I was getting a style. So that's the thing, like. The day that I actually went for drinks is the day that I realized a style was <sighs> appearing <sighs> on my eye. So, luckily, I hung out before it got bad. <laughs> yeah, I hung out before it got too bad. So... But y'all see, like, the contour shade is, like, perfect. It gives, like, that perfect little, you know. It's neutral, so that's why I like it. Like, my other contours that I use is, like, red. Got a red undertone. And I like that. Don't get me wrong. I love, like, to use contours with red undertones. It's just... This one is real cute because, like I said, it is it's neutral and it kind of balance, kind of balance my face out. So I like that. Gotta hurry up and add some dimension to my face. Okay, so for setting powder, I'm going in with Air Spun. I just feel like. I feel like using air spun today. Okay. 
So I definitely plan on going to Sephora this week and getting me some more products. I gotta pick up my birthday product because I mean, I'm gonna get that. I just don't like how they give you them little bootleg birthday gifts. Like dang, as much money as I spend with y'all and y'all only can offer me a freaking sample size, a lip gloss. <laughs> Girl, can we up the birthday gifts with Sephora, please? Like, I need something good. Can I get a setting powder on the house? <laughs> what about an eyeshadow palette? <laughs> Cause girl. For bronzer, I'm going in with my Fancy Beauty and Caramel Cutie. just to warm me up a little bit. Now, I'm not going to lie. What I do want to try is I want to try a bronzer with more of a golden undertone because, I don't know, I be leaning more towards bronzers with reddish undertones and neutrals. And I kind of want to see, like, what a golden going to look like. Kind of like that Black Radiance um, medium to dark palette. And it got that real pretty, like, light brown kind of goldish shade in it. I gotta pick that up put that on my list <laughs> so I'm gonna keep the eyes clean like I said because I'm the eye the star is still kind of healing it is gone but it still got a small little knot on it and I don't want to put product on it to kind of irritate it while it's trying to go down so I was gonna do eyelashes and everything I'm not I can't even do that because I don't want the eyelash glue to to do nothing either so i'm just gonna pop some mascara on and that's all we're gonna be doing to the eyes i um what i was gonna say i'm not gonna use my nars blush today because actually i do kind of want to use my nars blush because it got like this little glitter hint and this is my nars orgasm x I always use too much freak dang dang it ain't no going back from that oh man see I should have started off with a light hand like on this side Jayla it ain't nothing wrong with me Oh man, see this side looking like uh, it ain't coming off. <laughs> Dang man, I went too hard on the other side. Now I gotta do it to this side. A little bit on the nose since we already looking like a clown. Might as well put it on the damn nose. Okay, who I look like? Boo boo the fool. So even though we not doing eyeshadow, I still wanna create that, you know, that structure right here. So I'm gonna do what I normally do.
to snatch this nose, honey. Okay. Don't forget to shape it. Because you don't want it to look like it never ends. Highlight, Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna still put a little bit right here just to add a little drama, you know. And what the heck, let's add a little bit right here. I be feeling like I forgot how to do my makeup. If I ain't did makeup in a long time, I will legit forget the order to go in and everything. Like, I dead ass start setting my face and I ain't even put on concealer yet. <laughs> so just for fun, I don't usually line my lips when I do just regular clear lip gloss, but I'm gonna line my lips with brown lip liner. Got lip liner. Now I'm going in with yeah, the gloss, no. super lustrous, the gloss from Revlon. Okay, now I'm just put my eyebrows back up because lately, what is this? Lately, I haven't been doing much on my eyebrows. I just underline the bottom and then I put some straight lines through the front and then that's it. And I just basically sweep them up because I like that little natural, that natural brow look. So I just brush them up and leave it like that. And I shaved my face the other day, so. Oh, that's what. I ordered a face steamer from um, Amazon so I could do like start doing facials and stuff on myself. So I did the facial. Well, not really a facial. I did my face steamer the other day and then I shaved my face and then I exfoliated and did all that. So that's probably why I'm seeing a major difference in my makeup application because I ain't got no hair on my face. <laughs> Okay, but let me take my hat down, and then I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, I don't know where my earrings at. Like, that's, that's really bothering me because I'm an earring type girl. Like, I need my earrings. But, um, I actually don't feel like getting up to go and get them. So, we just going to close it out like this. When I rock like this. Rock like this, rock like this, rock like this. <laughs> Y'all remember that scene? Oh, is it? No, it's Hot Chicks with Rob Schneider. And he was up in the club with the other girls. <laughs> and he was battling against the other girls trying to find the dragon tattoo. They was lifting each other's shirts up. And he walked in the club when I rock like this. Rock like this, rock like this. <laughs> I'm so happy they got that on Netflix. Anyway. <laughs> We gonna close this video out, y'all. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm not going nowhere. I was gonna get dressed, but I'm honestly about to go in the kitchen and fix me some food. So I ain't even about to fake the funk with y'all. Like, get this face beat, and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you ain't did it already. And I'll see y'all, lovelies. I'll see y'all in my next video when I'm gonna be doing a vlog for my birthday. So y'all stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.